in case if you guys don't know then we are learning react native by cloning instagram and we build this app so far and now we want to build the section where we will get the profile and below that profile will have the images or the post that particular user is posting and for that currently we are not going to handle the poster part but we will create the profile info and for that i have already built this component called profile info inside our components folder and if you come here this is just a component where i just have this profile image and this is the url which i copied from the unsplash okay now inside here first of all what we need at the left side we want the image and for that we have to import and use this image inside here and i have already imported this image so i can simply use this source and here we can pass our uri which will be profile image but if i save this nothing will happen and you know why and that is because whenever you we use any remote uri then we have to specify the width and height and i'm going to create this profile image right here and for the width we will use this 40 and uh, for the height we will use this 40 and for the border radius we will use this 20 and we'll get this tiny little image here but i want to increase this to 50 and uh, the border radius will be half of the 50 which will be 25 okay and after that here we have to you add the name and the location of this user and for that here we can use our text component where i'm going to add this john doe let's copy and paste it below and let's add this location and now if i save this that's how it looks but now here we want to use our flexbox so for that now inside this container because currently we are wrapping them inside this container i'm going to add this flex direction and i'm again telling you this inside react native the by default view is flex so we can simply add this flex direction row but we don't want this kind of look we want this uh, name at the top and the location at the bottom of this name and for that here we can wrap these text inside this view like this and that's how it looks now we can add this item center align items center and now inside these text i'm going to add some styles so styles for the first one this will be name and this will be location okay inside here i'm going to use this name and this will be font size 16 and also i want to make its uh, font weight bolder so i'm going to use this 700 and this looks fine and for the location i'm going to use a smaller font size which will be font size 14 let's see and i think 14 is the default uh, inside react native so let's uh, use this 12 here and uh, this is not local storage this needs to be location what i'm doing and yes this 14 is the default one so i'm going to decrease this to 12 and you can see the chain now i want the gap in between this uh, image and this title or this name so for that here we can add this style for this d which will be styles dot profile container I'm going to create this after this container where we can what we can do we can use this margin right and not margin right by the way this needs to be margin left and this will be let's add this 10 and I think this looks way much so I'm going to use this 8 and that's fine now also here at the corner we want to use that three little dot which will be the option so for that we can go to our icons icons.expo.fyi and here if you search for the options then you will get something else but here i want to search for this ellipses and if you come a little bit down then i'm going to use this ellipses vertical from inside this ion icons 
now I have to paste it right here and I'll copy the icon itself and I'll use it right here now if I save this that's how it looks but I want this head at the right side at the corner and for that inside this container we can use this justify content space between and that's how it looks but we don't want this kind of effect so for that we have to now group this image and this uh, title of this name and the location so for that we can use view I'm going to cut everything out we will use this view and here we are going to add all these content but now this is how it looks but now we want this side by side here in the same line so for that we can use this uh, flex property here as well so styles so I'm going to use this profile container for this one here at the top and for this one I'm going to use this profile content container ok now we have to change this name So it's fine you can change your mind it's fine like I'm doing here okay and this is not fine just because I'm doing this but it is fine now inside this profile container what we can do we already have this thing here because we already have done this inside this container so I'm going to copy all these things I'll paste them here now this time we just don't want to use this justify content will only use these two properties now if I save this that's how it looks and the one more thing that here I want to do I want to give them some padding horizontal and if I do it like this I have to go to all the component then I have to add and change these padding if I want to change this in future so for that what I will do I'll go to this header and here I'm using this padding of 5 so I'll change this to padding horizontal 5 not horizontal this will be padding vertical of 5 ok now I'm going to go inside this storyline and again I remove that padding from here padding horizontal 10 and that's how it looks now I'll go to this app.js now this is the wrapper so if I add this padding horizontal here this will be applicable for everyone now currently here we don't have that much gap so if you want to you can come to this and container let's add this margin top and you can add the margin that you like and that's how your Instagram looks right now now in the next video we will create that carousel where we are going to render our post or the images but that's going to be a little bit of tricky task but I'll try my best to explain that and for now that's it and I hope you like this video and learn something new if this is the case then as always don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already I'll see you guys in my next video.